Hi everybody. I am very excited because you are watching me right now, which means that you are on my YouTube channel, um, which I have been trying to launch recently. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Uh, but I'm also excited because my competition is next week, Saturday, August 24th. Um, so this is officially going to be my peak week. And I'm gonna bring you guys uh, along with me, aka my camera, and show you what happens day to day, the days before, and then of course the day of, and maybe the day after, I don't know. I am actually kind of starting out a little rough because I'm putting on a good face for you, but I'm not feeling well. Um, I've been under the weather for the last two days. Uh, I actually <clears throat> missed my cardio and my lift uh, for two days in a row. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it in today, but uh, I'm feeling a little bit better right now comparatively to where I was, so we'll see. But that kind of messed with my mental psyche a little bit. I just have to remind myself I'm fine, and the rest might be uh, good for me, uh, considering my body is just, I'm just spent right now. I'm just tired and exhausted, so it could be doing me um, some good, my cortisol levels, you know, all that stuff. But um, I'm super excited going into it. I feel ready. This is the uh, most ready I've ever felt. This will be my third show, which isn't, um, <clears throat> you know, I I only competed last summer and then this summer, so I'm still new to the sport, I would say, but I definitely feel ready. The show is gonna be in Flint, outside of Flint, so it's Flushing. I have not personally ever done this show before, but I have had a few friends that have. I think it's a smaller show, generally. Um, originally, I was supposed to do the Nicole Wilkins this year, I was actually supposed to do her show last year too, and both years I had to bump, so one year I might do it, I don't know. So it'll be a smaller show, it's okay. I'm just ready, I'm, I'm really trying to qualify nationally, nationally, excuse me. So I don't know if um, if that'll happen, but I really, you know, I really hope so. I've put in a good amount of work, worked hard for it, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be good, but you never know who's gonna show up to these things. You know, it could just be a Greek goddess who comes in and sweeps the damn thing, so. We'll see. Either way, um, I'm proud of the progress I made this year, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to see how it goes. So I uh, hope you are as well, and I'll be bringing you along. I'm just going to show you. Uh, I went to the grocery store yesterday, and I bought um, the makeup for uh, show day, so I actually, I'm just going to do it myself. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good with like... I like to think hair and makeup and stuff, so I'm gonna try to save a couple bucks and do it myself. I actually, I'm probably just gonna go straight hair. Uh, this time we'll see, and then, uh, yeah, I'm doing my own makeup, so I'm gonna show you what I got. So this is what I got. I am going to obviously keep it um, as cheap as possible, even though this stuff altogether cost me like 50 bucks, but anywho, it's a lot less than if you were to pay to get your hair and makeup done. So, since this is not my first rodeo, I just don't, I don't want to spend that much, so um, I just got these like press-on nails. I've used them in the past before, so we'll see how they work. Hopefully, as long as they're on for the day, I'll be fine. <laughs> um, I just got some uh, for eyelashes or whatever. Oh. Um, it's like glue, but you can like, I don't know. It makes it easier. So then I got like some silver glitter. I don't know if I'm actually gonna like use it, but we'll see. It was super cheap so and then I got the most annoying um, eyelashes I could find thick long that's what I want because when you're far away nobody can <clears throat> nobody can really tell then I just uh, hit up the elf shelf um, I got some matte uh, lipstick so we'll see how that looks I want to kind of go for like a pink on it on my face a little bit because it's a I have a blue suit and blonde hair I don't know sometimes pink just works well so that's the look I'm going for. Obviously, I got way darker than I nor than my actual like skin tone is. Um, that's because you get very dark when you get spray painted. So you want to try to match it as best you can. Uh, and then my typical eyebrow pencil that I use. So that's uh, what we've got right there. And then um, obviously, like the primer and all that type of stuff is uh, I already have that. So it should be a good time. But yep, I'm gonna try to keep it cheap. And this is the this is the setup.
Hello, um, I was just gonna show you, I'm doing a little bit of food prep right now um, to get me through probably the next couple days. It is Monday of peak week, so I am five days away. So, um, no makeup. <laughs> I actually, uh, if you're wondering why I'm home during the middle of the day, it is because I work from home, I work remotely. So uh, yeah, but I was gonna show you um, a little food prep. It's really nothing special because I don't eat a lot. <laughs> Got some asparagus, and then we've got some um, cod roasted in the oven, yummy. And then I'm going to be chopping up some veggies, and I'm keeping up with my vitamins. So that's what we're working with the next couple days here. So I've been feeling a little bit better. Um, I was not feeling well. <laughs> um, what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, just down for the cow. Yesterday I started feeling a lot better, which was Sunday. Um, today I feel okay, but um, I don't know, I'm a little stuffy, so <laughs> I'm hoping it just goes away. I'm just keeping up with the vitamins and stuff, so we'll see. Um, the other thing that I was going to say is when I am on these prep, this prep train, whatever, I drink a lot of these like bubblies. Um, they just keep my stomach kind of full, so I drink them after I uh, eat a meal. And then also I've been drinking these buys and they kind of help me with uh, sweet tooth and they're really good. There's not a lot of like bad stuff in here for you. So maybe a little bit, but not compared to like a white monster. So um, those are kind of a little bit of hacks. I'll have to stop. I'm not going to be able to have bubbles, my bubble water, probably a couple days before the show. Bubbles make you bloat. So can't do that. Right, hello everybody. So it is um, the day before my show and I am going to just uh, do some last minute packing and uh, I'll show you exactly what I am packing as far as uh, food, it's not gonna be that exciting. Um, I'm only gonna be gone for today or tonight, which it's like one o'clock-ish right now um, and I'm going to hit the road by two because that will put me up there at three which is check-in at hotels. But later today, um, once I get there, we will uh, go to, not register, I think, so my TAN's at 5.45 and registration is from five to like seven. So I think right after my TAN, normally it's pretty quick. So right after my TAN, I'll probably head uh, and go right to registration um, before it closes at seven and that way. Everyone's always there really like early because they want to get it done with. So if I just catch it later, typically it kind of goes faster. So that's kind of the, the big overview. And then I will be meeting up with my mom and my cousin and they're going to be like my, my rocks this weekend. And then Casey's going to come tomorrow morning um, and help me with the pump up and all of that. And hopefully we'll be backstage. So I will uh, keep you all posted along this whole weekend. So enjoy. All right, you guys, so this is basically the setup for what I'm bringing with me as far as food goes. Um, so today, uh, this is my primary fat source, coconut oil. Um, and then tomorrow, we're actually probably gonna just, I actually get pancakes in the morning um, to help carb up, but just in case I brought some oats, um, if I need them, <clears throat> I'm switching. I'm only going to do the healthy stuff for right now. Um, I'm just bringing these. These are good like little travel things and um, because it's day of, I should be fine just eating this. Um, so I'll have some of these tomorrow after, probably after prejudging um, because I eat every couple of hours. So then I think what we're going to do is a meal in between, which I'll probably get pancakes again <laughs> because... I love my pancakes and um, that time we can have like an omelet and get a little dirtier um, post prejudging before finals. So I always bring my own condiments in because I'm annoying. Um, so that'll be coming with me if I do that. Um, just my protein powder which is my main source of protein today. Egg whites, we'll have those in the morning <clears throat> with some pancakes. So we're going to try to have I think 200 grams of carbs to help carb up tomorrow. Um, magnesium, because we are holding a little bit of water. Literally holding water, I don't get a ton of water, so I don't wanna cramp up when I'm on stage and flexing. Um, and I'm just basically sipping all day today. I, like I said, do not feel well, very well today, so I put some vitamin C in here, um, emergency or whatever, so I'm just kinda sipping on that right now. Now for the dirty stuff. 
Oreos, mega stuff. I have to stop and get the, um, if you have not had them already, the limited edition, uh, or I don't know if it's limited edition, but carrot cake Oreos are like mind blowing. So I gotta stop and get some of those. Got Sour Patch, cause I just don't know what I'm feeling, what I'll, I'll be feeling after show. Um, Rice Krispies because bomb. And then my love since I was like a child. So that's kind of the haul that's gonna at least come with me. Might take another trip to the grocery store, I don't know. All right, so you are looking at the pump up routine equipment. Okay, so this is my uh, resistant band um, with handles. This works really well. Um, I use this for legs, back, biceps, triceps, everything in between. I. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to use these. These are just like three pounders, which will feel like 10 pounders by tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna bring them along anyways and see you know, if for some reason we're allowed to, then I would love to use them. Uh, and then my ab wheel uh, to get those abs fired up. But I don't know if I'm actually gonna use that. I might just have, um, just do some like leg lifts uh, tomorrow, so I don't know. But anyways, these are this is basically what I'm going to be using, and then obviously I'll be all carved up. So hopefully my shoulders will be popping, um, but we'll see. And then of course we have my suit. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. It is by Ravish Sands. How cute is the little fake boobs? <laughs> um, I do have a discount code with them too. So if you are interested. Um, use my code. It's in my bio on my Instagram, which I will make sure to tag. So that's my suit. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, even though most of you have seen it on my Instagram. But I just can't do a lot with one hand right now. Um, and then my heels. I got these at Lover's Lane. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, and then the last thing I did want to mention, this is just grab this out of my uh, carry on. This is just a regular bar of soap dove. Um, you don't want any barriers between you and your spray tan. So if, uh, like if I'm going to get my spray tan today, I would say, I think it's supposed to be like a couple days before. I have been just been using that bar of soap for the last couple days because I don't want to, uh, create any type of barrier. So I've not used any lotion, no bath bombs, no bath salts, no nothing. Um, so just, just that. So I'm actually gonna shower before I go get my tan on and shave my legs and everything um, before I actually get my first coat on. That is why I wanted to share that with you. So if you don't know that, um, you definitely don't want to uh, mess up on that. Also, no deodorant, <laughs> you'll turn green. But yeah, mainly just don't put anything on your skin. Like I would say like three days out, I think is what I've always been told. So, yep. Other than that, I'm gonna pack this uh, little, what do I own? Buick, Buick Encore. I'm gonna go pack that up and I'm gonna be on my way and I'll be there in an hour and I'm gonna go meet my mom and my cousin. And I'm so excited. going well. Life of an athlete where you have 50 bags for one night. For one night. <laughs> so we almost had our heart attack because I thought there wasn't any AC in here and homegirl is hot. But there is an Aaron's on it. Right here? <laughs> yep. Oh. Yep, so we got into the hotel, so let me flip this around and show you. Two double beds for tonight only. We get a nice, beautiful view of a uh, blackfish whale. <laughs> yep. And a jacuzzi, I will be going in later. <laughs> I won't be able to attend, but there's the fitness center. Too bad I can't go there either. Kelsey, show me what you're eating for breakfast tomorrow. Why have champagne on ice when you can have egg whites with a side of onion? <laughs> They're like expanding because it was hot. <laughs> it's a raunchy breakfast. All right, Kels, where are we going? We're going to get the first layer of tan. We are about to go to registration and I might be late. I don't know. They're getting waters because we're in Flint. I don't know. Um, I already look buffer which is 
great. I can't tell him. So we're all checked in and registered and I have, uh, what did I, I don't have anything. I'm number 47 for tomorrow. I don't have my number yet, but I will. Um, yeah, so now it's time to go back to the hotel and chill and probably just go to bed. <laughs> Alrighty, so I am all suited up for tonight. Got my sweatpants, my flowy shirt all tucked in um, because I don't want to get my tan on the sheets because then I will have to pay for the sheets. So um, I am about to go to bed. It's like 9.30 um, Friday, so I have to be up <clears throat> tomorrow morning at like probably 5, 5.15 for my 5.30 appointment for my last and final coat of tan. Um, and then it is uh, showtime, so I'm going to go to bed now and I'm clocking out. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, the day of the show. I'm going to get my second coat of tan and final. It's like 5.30 in the morning. So I just uh, hopped on the scale and I am down to 132, <laughs> which is like two pounds above kind of like where my goal was. My goal was about like 130 to get on stage today, um, which is fine. It should be fine. Two weights, two or two pounds, I don't know. But um, my stomach, I would show you if I wasn't wearing like a robe right now, but my stomach is pretty cut up, so um, I'm happy with how my physique's looking. And I'm sure it'll look uh, a lot better after I get this even coat of tan on, so. All right, so this is what we're looking like this morning. I'm pretty, pretty good. Kind of flat, but not till I get my pancakes. Hmm. And then I don't really know what my back looks like, but that would be kind of hard to show you. So this is what we're working with right now. <laughs> Else, what's the plan for today? So we are, I'm quickly putting on my press on nails that are $5. We're gonna, I'm gonna take off to the venue um, because we have an athletes meeting at 9.30. And then today prejudging is at 10.30. So that's kind of prejudging is, um, for those who don't know, is basically you find out when you're done with prejudging, you find out where realistically you're kind of going to place. You'll place either like a place up or down. I mean, they could throw you a curveball and pull you right out. But anyhow, uh, so prejudging is kind of more uh, for the competitors. And then finals is at five. And that's really a show for like the audience. Um, it's where they give out all the trophies and you figure out your actual placement. So um, we have to check out of here by noon. So I think we're gonna, my cousin Aaron, <laughs> behind the camera right now, and my mom are gonna pack up my stuff because I'm all over the place. We'll be checked out. Um, so I think in between we're gonna go get a uh, cheat meal. I'm about to go get some pancakes on my way. Um, so that'll be good. And yeah, other than that, um, my eyes are so super dry right now because I am so dehydrated. Um, so I cannot wait to start drinking water um, after the show. I mean, I'll be sipping throughout the day, so it's really not bad, but yeah, my eyes are dry. I feel ready for the show. I think, um, I don't think it's gonna be a big one. I don't think there's a ton of figure 
competitors um, so far. I haven't found one trace of <laughs> them on uh, social media, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see uh, who turns up, but um, should be a good time. Uh, I feel ready. I feel good. Nice and dry. Uh, super dark, so that's always good. Mm -hmm. um, hair is going to be straight today. I did a little bit of pink on my... Um, on my face and this is for those of you who haven't seen my suit we're rocking a blue suit today so um, it actually looks really good on with the, the dark tan so should be good I'm excited
Hello. Um, our camera died, uh, so we got a little bit of the uh, finals, right, Air? So we got a little bit of finals, um, but we didn't get anything after, so um, sorry, guys, is what it is. I just am home now, and we went, uh, a group went to uh, Red Robins, and I smashed on a burger, but I'll tell you about my results first. So um, we ended up qualifying for nationals today, so that's awesome, because that's literally like my number one thing. I just need to get in there and qualify. So we got the qualification. We are, uh, got number, I was open class uh, B. So I got first place with there, um, and then novice, I got second place at novice, and um, I was actually in the overall, um, but I did not get the, the overall winner um, she deserved it, to be honest, so, uh, but I got runner-up, so, <clears throat> anywho, I'm excited, we're gonna dive right into an off-season, which, um, even though this is my first show of the summer, um, and of the season, it'll be probably my only, and that is okay with me, because I, uh, am ready to just kind of live normal life now, um, but I'm also ready to train way harder, um, so when I hit a national stage, I'm gonna be ready, so. I'm excited, but we're gonna go out um, tonight in Royal Oak with some friends, so I'm going to let loose and finally enjoy my summer. 